Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for you to learn about the art and beauty of dividend investing. Speaking of dividend investing and investing in general, you can't really invest without money to do so. And the following six minimalist hacks have helped me directly or indirectly increase my wealth so I can invest in more dividend paying stocks. So let's get started. Number one is unsubscribe from all those shopping promos. And I know how tempting it is to look at like 40% off Wayfair or 60% off Uniqlo and go like, wow, if I don't buy right now, I'd be missing out of the deals. There is one very, very important saying that I want you to remember. If you don't buy, your discount is 100%. Nothing beats 100%. So. Don't buy things that are not needed, not necessary in your life. And I know how tempting it is to look at these 60% off or 50% off and going like, wow, what a deal, I have to take advantage of this. This is a great opportunity. But it's really not, because if you really wanted to buy these things, you don't need a reminder, okay? If you really needed to buy, let's say, toilet paper, do you need someone to tell you there's 40% off toilet paper for you to go out and buy toilet paper? I don't think so because you need this thing you're gonna feel the need to you're gonna feel the lack and you're gonna run out and buy it regardless so why subscribe to all these shopping promos and discounts when they're just gonna push you with notifications of stuff that you never asked for that you don't need and you're gonna feel tempted to buy these things just listen to me, unsubscribe to them, or just make a separate shopping email that you lo only log into when you need something. And maybe you can look at those promos, but it's, it's a dangerous, it's a dangerous thing. So I really recommend you to just unsubscribe to all these shopping promos. And number two, similarly, unsubscribe to these YouTubers and bloggers that tell you to buy, buy, and buy constantly. And I know the feeling because I used to be one of them or I used to watch a lot of them. I was never the type who's like shoving things down your throat and going like, oh, you have to buy this to, for you to be a true woman or every woman needs this. Uh, every girl needs these pair of heels. Like I was never like that. I know why they make these titles though. It's because they're clickbaity and they're gonna get people to click onto them but I really, really hate titles like this. I don't think as a woman, as a girl, as whoever you are, I don't think it's necessary for you to buy anything to prove your identity. I think that is just stupid. But that aside, just unsubscribe to these people that shove things down your throat and tell you to buy this, buy that. Because honestly, back to the initial saying, if you really need something, you don't need a reminder to buy these things. You're just gonna buy them. So really just unsubscribe to these bloggers and YouTubers telling you to buy things all the time. If you enjoy their aesthetic, then and cool, you can enjoy their aesthetics, but don't get brainwashed by their sales tactics and their clickbaity titles and their affiliate links, even though I also had some, but it's mutually beneficial, I swear. Um, you get two free stocks from Weeble by depositing $100 one free stock from Robin Hood, and also love and support for this channel if you use my M1 Finance link, which is by far my favorite way to do dividend investing. Number three is minimize the amount of pillows and cushions that you might have on your bed or on your couch. I never understood why people would have 10 million pillows and the different throws or different cushion on their couch, like why? Why and why? Especially on the bed, I feel like when I sleep, maybe I'm not such a good sleeper. I always find extra pillows on the ground whenever I'm sleeping in a hotel room because you know how hotel rooms usually have like four plus pillows on one bed for some reason. And so I realize I don't need four pillows on my bed. I always keep two or less pillows on my bed at all times because I know any more than two they will end up on the ground and it's very dirty and insanitary and it's just not worth it. Also for couches, I also don't understand why people have a million couches or a million pillows on their couches. Makes no sense, makes it look very messy and full of clutter. 
Right now, I only have one pillow or one cushion on my couch, and that is from like a couple years ago that I haven't really decluttered, and my couch is just one plain gray couch. So that one little heart kind of adds a little bit of decoration to it, but other than that, I probably will not add any more pillows onto my couch because I just find it really unnecessary and annoying and I just don't see why I need it. Number four is no TV. I have lived this no TV life ever since I want to say a preteen and my household did not have a TV mainly because my parents didn't want my brother to watch TV so I'm forced to not watch TV either but I'm kind of used to living a TV less life and even in college I did not have a TV and of course after graduation I did not have a TV I also lived in my car which means I did not have a TV lived in a garage also without a TV lived in a luxury apartment also without a TV or the TV is not mine it's my roommates so I never owned a TV ever since preteen years and I don't regret it a single bit because life is so much better without mainstream media, without TV. Your opinions don't get easily persuaded by mainstream media by what the news wants you to believe in. And you also don't waste so much time watching like reality TV shows and just other shows in general. I never found it helpful to my like mental health or my well-being by watching all these different shows. I'm so glad that I don't have a TV because even without a TV, I managed to waste a lot of time on TikTok. So that's a different story, but yeah, no TV. I recommend this to you, especially if you live a TV full life. You will realize how much time you're saving by stopping yourself from watching TV. Number five along the same lines is no subscription services. For me, that is no subscription services except for Amazon Prime because I'm pretty much the most loyal Amazon customer that you can find. Um, probably top 10% or 5%, I don't know. But my best from Amazon, my cat supplies are from Amazon, a lot of my things are from Amazon. I live a really, really busy life. I work a full-time job and I also have YouTube obligations, which is honestly another full-time job, if not more. And it's really difficult for me to run out to the store and get those like essential items in my free time because I really don't have free time. So that is why Amazon Prime is very, very, very important to me and I also love the return policy it's usually 30 day return policy the customer service is most of the time pretty good so that's why I love Amazon Prime and of course there's also Amazon Prime music there's also um, my Alexa which also is part of Amazon just a lot a lot of good things with Amazon and I swear <laughs> this is not sponsored I wish it is but yeah, if you want to check out what I buy from Amazon, which is pretty much everything in my life, I have a link in the info box that you can check out. Number six is very, very important, and that is clear counters. Clear counters, clear desktops, clean space, clean mind. And it really doesn't matter, like as a minimalist, it really doesn't matter what you have in the drawers because most of us have things in the drawers. Very little people actually have empty drawers, like very little people. So it's okay to have things and it's okay to put them in the drawers. But I like to keep a clean counter, a clear counter as much as possible, except for like one or two decorative things. But I like to keep my counter, my tabletops as clean as possible because it does create the illusion of a very clean household and very tidy and organized household, a very clear space that also gives me a clear mind. I always get distracted with different clutter. That's why I really love having just like a clear countertop at least, what's in the drawers, I wouldn't know until I open them, but at least on the surface, everything looks tidy and clean and solid and no weird object here and there. These are my six minimal list hacks to optimize my life. What are your minimal list hacks to optimize your life? I'm super curious to know because ever since I started adopting these minimalist hacks, I do see an improvement in my quality of life, in my efficiency, in my overall happiness. And I really want to know what other minimalist hacks are there. I want to use this opportunity as a chance to announce that I finally launched my course after months of planning and recording and editing. I am finally finished and launching my course. So it is live, you can go register for it. The price is $3.97. If you were one of the early bird people, you can get it for 197 
but currently it's $3.97 and I do have a discount code for you in my info box. So please go to my info box. That is your discount code. I will also have a free webinar for you to join. The link is also in the info box. It is this 30 minute really quick webinar on the fundamentals of personal finance. It is 100% free. So be sure to check it out. I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and bell button. And I will see you in my next personal finance video.